Oh, he's going to look it up. But there was some company named Wandex. Alta Vista was the first one I remember on the on the internet, right? It was the first one I get really popular. Yeah, Alta Vista was very big. All right, you got a large amount of data points, and you need exact measurements. You're going to want something called a spreadsheet and a histogram. Bill Jelen is here, Mr. Excel, to explain it. This all comes from Excel for Scientists and Engineers, one of his many volumes. Brand new book. This is by Jerry Bersharin. Oh, our, yeah, Jerry's good, yeah. Guys. Brand new, just came out. Um, I'm the publisher. So histo I've seen histograms. The only time I've seen them before is in photos, in, in showing the light and dark oh, areas. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're used all the time in, in science. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I use Excel, I'm an accountant, so I'm right. always... Excel is very accounting-centric. Right. Um, and the other big users of... Excel or scientists, scientists and engineers. Of course, yeah. Um, but of course, scientists don't even call it charts. It's graphs. Right? <laughs> okay. And so, you know, Jerry pointed out, well, you know, first of all, it's if graphs. you want to do graphing, you have to do charting in Excel. Uh -huh. And when we create a chart in Excel, it's going to be an accounting type chart right. all the time. They make a it very, pie chart or a bar chart. Right, they make it very hard right. to do uh, any sort of scientific charts, but they can be done. Histograms are normally used to count the levels of different I items, right. right? So the right. number of dots is how many And so, items. you know, here we have um, some age bands, under right. 21, under 30, under 40, and the percentages, um, which an accountant would always do a pie chart for that. But right. The scientist wants to do a histogram. Look what I okay, so my trick for creating a chart with one click is the F11 key. Highlight the data, hit the F11 key. Boom. And now, then, of course, it's going to make the wrong suggestion. Right. Yes. Yeah, so Our chart. We have to say, oh, uh -oh, those stupid don't. accountants. <laughs> so what we do to make a histogram, a histogram always has all of the bars touching, and they usually are turned on their side. Right. All right, so a couple of things we have to do. First of all, I'm going to select the There's bars. There's no button that says histogram. You know, in Excel 12, they there finally added a histogram right. button. Right. But until then, this, you have to buy this book. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to choose the chart type and make it a bar chart. That'll get it on its side. Sideways. But now we still have all these gaps. And so it's very obscure. I have to right-click, Format Data Series, and then the sixth tab, the Options tab, has something called Gap Width. <laughs> right? Like you were supposed to find that. Oh, Gap Width. Of course, if you're a rocket no, scientist. you don't want a Gap Width. Rocket yeah, rocket scientists yeah, yeah, right, even yeah. are yeah. baffled by this. Okay, so that then allows us go. to create the histogram. <sighs> histogram. Yeah, now here's a more complex situation where we have the same age bands, but we have male and female, mm. and we want to compare them mm. side by side. It's a double histogram. Double histogram. Even harder. So I'm going to do insert chart. Watch this. This man is magic. Insert chart. We're going to choose a bar chart, clustered, and when I finish, it's going to look horrible. Not, oh, awful. Not at all like what I want. <laughs> Again, right click, format data series, change the gap width down to a to zero. Mm, zero gap. Still looks horrible. Yeah, we got to do something about the all stacking right. bars there. Yeah, exactly. That's so not going to work. I need to have either the male or female be negative to get it on yes. the other side. Yeah. So I have I put a negative one in here. Amber says it's the males that are negative, so let's... <laughs> <laughs> I copy the negative one to the clipboard, edit, paste special, multiply. So, so you're actually cha changing that number to a negative number. Negative number. Okay. Right. <clears throat> By multiplying it times negative one, I'll right. work it. There you and go. There we get it. Look at that. Yeah, there. That's a cool chart, actually. That, yeah, it is a cool chart. I think there are okay. uses for that, even, so. in, even for accountants. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, if but, you, but Jerry assures me that the scientists would love it. The that. scientists love it. I have no idea why. If you're a scientist, or actually if you're a student studying science,